one way or the other. But that's kind of my story. It's kind of unique how it happened. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks. 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 Thanks.
Tennessee down in New Orleans and saw New Orleans uh, preseason game or Texas preseason game, and that's how I got started on the road. And then we drive my car back at Thanksgiving after it was down as part of the country all year. Um, was with the Browns for seven years, went through four different general managers, and each time a new general manager came on, it was like a four month job interview. I remember the first time I met Phil Savage at the East West game in, in uh, California. And we changed the whole grading scale, said, hey, look, guys, I know you've been doing it this way. We're going to change the grading scale. Here it is. Go for it. And so we had to go back in and regrade all of our guys and then start a new with Bill that year. Um, ended up, Bill kept me on. Uh, Bill actually signed me to a three-year contract because um, he liked the work I did. And so then Bill, he's up and gone uh, for reasons out of his control and because we had Ten and six and just missed the playoffs and had really drafted six six pro bowlers, but things didn't work out. And so then we went through three straight years of different general managers, different head coaches, and each year, you know, there's three months where you're working for a new guy, new grading system, trying to find your way. And finally, it ended up I wasn't renewed one year by one guy, and then the guy came in the next year. And I was an easy guy to get out because everybody else had contracts. So the guy that's easy to get out of the guy that's not being paid. So, so I was let out of that job. I kind of knew that was happening. <coughs> and so I had made, I'd been pretty visible during the All-Star Games. Uh, I can remember being at the East-West game. That's when Joe Flacco was down there. And Trent Baalke was there as uh, he was the interim GM for the 49ers at that time. Uh, I was at the combine and uh, Trent was sitting there with the other San Francisco coaches and as we went by, I just made it a point to sit down and talk to him. I'd been in some rooms with Trent, uh, but I'd never worked for him. But I knew that he was in a situation where he was the interim GM, they get the GM job. He didn't know, I didn't know. But um, I did let go at uh, Cleveland and I called Trent and uh, I said, hey, look, I did, figured this was going to happen. It did. And, um, I had a job in 23 hours. And Trent told me the reason I had a job was it wasn't because a lot who I had called him, and I had a couple, it was because <coughs> Trent knew guys on the road that he respected, and he asked them about me and about the way I worked, and that's what got me the job. And I, 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 you know, I passed that on to a lot of young scouts in Cleveland as I was leaving. I said, look guys, I'm out of this job, and I got another job because of the way I acted, I acted on the road. Just keep that in mind. It's not basically what you're doing for your team. Alone. Thank you.